What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link there also. They asked me to put it up. So I put it up. Thanks everybody for supporting. But this video, though, this video is entitled Every Game Has Consequences. Um, people in life. You know, they say life is a game and, you know, everything is a game of life to a degree. Just using that as an analogy. But people like to play games. And I think the difference of, of what people consider old school and new school is people in the old school knew that every game has consequences. So if you play in the game, you accept the consequences that go along with it. Uh... What people are having an issue with right now, changing times, changing generations, changing ideologies or whatever, is there are certain universal principles of life that's not going to change just because you feel like they should. What do I mean by this? If your game is to be a liar, or you like lying to people, you know, the truth going to come out. And you're going to be viewed as a liar and you won't be trusted and, you know, <clears throat> that house of cards falls down. You know, you're going to be found out. There are consequences to being a liar if, you, if that's the game you're playing, right? And people got an issue with uh, the consequences. Like, why? You shouldn't have an issue with the consequences. Because they're going to come just like everything else in life you chose to play whatever you know some people um like to be violent consequences of that is you live by the sword you die by the sword you don't get to skirt you know you could live by it but you won't die by it that's not how it goes you can't brag on you know, the people who died by your sword, but you want mercy and you want somebody to let you live with their sword. That's not how it goes. You know, you play a game, you know, the consequences are included. It's not like battery sold separately. You know what I'm saying? It's not, you know, consequences sold separately. No, 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 not, not happening. You know, if you're, you know, one of those people in relationships and you are, and you like cheating, well, the consequences are you, you're going to be alone. You're going to get cheated on. Or the very same thing that you're doing to, 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 to that person is going to be done to you. That's what it is. You know, that's, that's the consequence of the game. You know, you want to play a game and the game's going to play you. That's life, right? So, you know... This is the, the, and this is the basic things. So some of these things I'm going to talk about is a little nuanced. Like some people play this game of, of micro, yeah, microaggressions, where you know when you keep picking at somebody, you keep, you know, picking and picking and picking. You, you want a confrontation, but you don't want to flat out say you want a confrontation. You want to, you know, pseudo bully small things until you can get to the big thing. Well, the consequence is, you know, if you keep picking for a fight, I don't care how micro it is and how many people you involve with, because what, what some people do is they pick with multiple people so people don't necessarily know they're on one. It's not like a particular person that they're going at. And this is what I mean by people who, you know, they might cut you off in line and then drive and cut somebody off in traffic or just be rude to a person in public for no other reason. And this is how they get their microaggressions out, right? But see, the, the consequence is this. You know, there's so many people in society doing this that there are people who just like, no, nah, let's get to it. Since, since I, I know your type. Your type is everywhere. Let's get to the, let, let, Let's get right to the confrontation. And then it's, oh, my God, I'm a victim. You're not a victim. You went around looking for trouble and you found it. That's the consequence of going around looking for trouble. 
Stop stop calling the police or looking for a witness or pulling out your camera phone, or, or, you know, and trying to get the Oscar winning performance when the very uh, situations that you drummed up in your life come to be. Right. So there's a consequence to playing these games. Same thing with, you know, using that as a reference. The same thing with this uh, making people the villain. You know, when you go around, you know, treating, uh, saying what's wrong with everybody else, but not acknowledging what's wrong with yourself, you can paint a bad picture of everybody else. But at some point, you the consequence to that is going to be, you're the only painter. So you the one painting the picture of everybody. And then people going to start, wait, you know, I approached you because they said, and I approached them because they said, and I approached them, but they... And now it's like, wait, all of these different people aren't necessarily the common denominator. It's that particular person. So the consequence is you go around bad mouth from everybody else, you know, you're going to fall in line with that because that is your reputation is to just bad mouth people. Not, you're not as actually as angelic or good as you say you are. You know, you're building your reputation on bad mouth and a bunch of people who may be good or may not be good. You know, you just a mixed bag. But the only thing consistent is your bad mouth and no, no nothing complimentary to say. So the consequence is, you know, a person be like, okay, since you talk bad about them, eventually you're going to talk bad about me. So how about I just, we done already. But that's the game you play, you know. Because, see, in life, your reputation precedes you. You know, your name... It is is gonna is gonna hold either a lot of weight or no weight, you know. Um, thing about you know consequences. People have been taught that consequences don't matter, and this is where I say universal law comes into play. Just because somebody told you you could do whatever you want, and and nothing will happen to you. Doesn't mean, you know, if you know them to be a liar, you should know that they tell you lies. So you've been lied to. Look at their life. Stuff happened. You know, we, we're in a society where people are trying to teach people how to get away with the stuff that they have, that they paid the consequence for. This is how you get over. This is how you get off. This is how people don't know it's you. As long as you're doing something that's dysfunctional, well, f even if it's functional, but as long as you're doing something that affect that that affects other people other than yourself, people are gonna know. There ain't no getting away scot free. And that's the game you play. As long as you did something that affects another person, you, you your fingerprints are gonna be there some way, form or fashion. That's just what it is. Even if it's not your literal. Fingerprints You know That's the thing There's consequences in life You play the game of pushing the envelope I want to push it I want to You know I want to be a rebel And see how far this rebel could get me Well the consequence of being a rebel is You know rebe Rebellious people Get killed Rebellious people get shunned Rebellious people get exiled Rebellious people sabotage themselves and get no help. Rebellious people are like the boy who cried wolf. That's what it is. You know, you want to be a rebel and that's your cause to be a rebel? Cool. Be a rebel. Waste your, waste your life and time being a rebel. You don't get it. Now you could just go out and be a rebel and all the consequences fall on you. Because see, a lot of times people want to be rebels, but they're not really rebels because they can't. Uh, handle the consequence of being a rebel. You want to be a criminal, but you don't want to get locked up for it. Okay. <laughs> I want to be a bank robber, but I don't ever, but I don't ever want to, if I get caught, I want to say I was the victim. No, it don't work like that. You know, so, if you're playing games, you know, they have consequences. That goes with it. You know, when 
when people play uh, contact sports, the consequence that's built into is you could play the game, but it might cause you a career ending or life threatening injury. This is what you're signing up for. And ain't you know, and if it get and if it happens, you gotta accept it. You can't say, "Oh, it's their fault for hurting me," because you might be in the in a business that hurts people. So once you sign up for, you know, soldiers can't say the enemy shot me, and it's their, you know, and they're responsible for my um, death or my mutilation or my. No, you signed up to do the very same thing that was done to you to somebody else. That's the consequence of it. You have to bear the brunt of that if it happens to you. Nobody gets off scot-free. That's all I'm saying. So like, share, subscribe. Yeah, got to say that. I don't like saying it, but whatever. Bye.